Allumage Vulcain. Allumage de ZAP et décollage. It is not just a new satellite project for Miasat, but it's a national important project to close the digital divide in Malaysia. Once considered a mere spectator in the global space race, Malaysia is now on the verge of a space revolution. Looking into the at least by 2030s, uh, this space sector will contribute uh, minimum 1% of the uh, national GDP. But this isn't just about lofty ambitions. It's about how a small country can punch above its weight in an industry dominated by superpowers like US and China. Malaysia's space agency, MISA, is positioned to transform the country's economy by leveraging space technology in practical, real-world applications. But with challenges ahead, the real question is, can Malaysia turn this dream into reality? You may ask, why should Malaysia invest in space? Well, it's not about sending astronauts or competing with the likes of NASA or SpaceX. It's about using space technologies to solve local problems, like bringing the internet to rural areas, predicting floods, and improving agricultural yields. These practical applications of space technology can directly impact Malaysia's economy and quality of life. The National Space Policy 2030 was introduced to address this, and now Malaysia is working towards SpaceX 2030, a new blueprint for space growth over the next decade. The creation of the Malaysian Space Agency, MISA, was a critical step toward achieving these goals. MISA's first major project, the MISAT satellite system, was a game changer for rural connectivity, enabling communities that previously had no access to the internet services to join the digital economy. This had ripple effects across sectors like education, e-commerce, and healthcare. Like countries such as India and Brazil, Malaysia is using satellite technology to bridge the urban-rural digital divide. This kind of investment pays off not just in connectivity but also in economic opportunities. But how does space technology translate into billions for Malaysia's economy? It's all about leveraging high-tech services. Malaysia doesn't need to launch rockets to reap the benefits of space. Instead, it can focus on dominating in satellite services, telecommunication, data analytics, and disaster management, areas that can directly impact its GDP. For instance, improving satellite broadband services can drive growth in e-commerce, online education, and telemedicine in rural areas. These services expected to contribute up to 100 to 200 million USD annually by 2030. Precision agriculture powered by geospatial data is another key area. A small 0.5% improvement in yield in key sectors like palm oil and rubber could add 365 million ringgit annually to the economy. And let's not forget about disaster management. With real-time satellite data, Malaysia can predict and mitigate natural disasters like floods, saving billions in recovery costs and infrastructure damage. One of Malaysia's key strategies is expanding through collaborations and innovation. Through collaborations with Airbus, MISA is improving its satellite infrastructure, while Japan's Sentinel Asia provides real-time data for disaster management. Another crucial aspect is the Technomart collaboration with Scotland, which focuses on improving Malaysia's satellite operations and fostering innovation. MISA's work with CubeSats, miniaturized satellites, is helping the country expand its low-cost satellite capabilities collecting critical environmental and scientific data for sectors like agriculture and telecommunications. Malaysia also benefits from knowledge exchanges with the European Space Agency, gaining access to technical assistance and training programs that enhance its capacity in satellite operations and Earth observation. Malaysia's space journey includes key collaborations with nations like South Korea, which played a crucial role in developing and launching the Rajaksat satellite. Additionally, partnerships with India's ISRO have contributed to satellite launch capabilities while China has supported advancement in remote sensing and satellite technology. These collaborations are part of MISA's broader strategy to ensure Malaysia's space sector is both innovative and internationally competitive. Malaysia is not only advancing in space technology but also in space governance. The Malaysian Space Board Act 2020-22 establishes a comprehensive framework to regulate space activities, ensuring they comply with international laws. 
In collaboration with the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, Malaysia is recognized as a leader in promoting responsible, sustainable use of space. Uh, Malaysia now is uh, driving the uh, space law, uh, uh, you know, uh, space reg reg regulatory. So I think this is good, it's not for Malaysia, but also the regional part. These efforts not only attract private investments, but also position Malaysia as a prominent player in global space law governance. These partnerships are more than just technology transfers. They help build Malaysia's local talent and capabilities, laying the groundwork for future growth in the space sector. In parallel, MISA is investing in future talent through initiatives like MySpace Logistic Robot under the MySTEM Space Program. By encouraging students to develop space-related robotic solutions, these programs aim to foster the next generation of scientists and engineers. This will contribute to the 5,000 high-value jobs Malaysia expects to create in the space sector by 2031. Malaysia's space journey is still in its early stages, but the potential is immense. By 2030, the goal is for MISA to be a leader in satellite communication and space services within the Asian region, and the space sector to contribute RM10 billion annually by 2031. The key will be continued investment, strategic international partnerships and fostering homegrown talent. To see how a small country like Malaysia can succeed in space, we can look at Luxembourg. With an initial investment of 213 million USD, Luxembourg focused on niche markets like satellite services and space mining. Today, its space sector contributes USD 1.9 billion annually. If Luxembourg can do it, so can Malaysia. And Malaysia is following a similar path, focusing on specific sectors where it can gain a competitive edge. What do you think? Can Malaysia lead the Asian space sector and achieve its space ambitions? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful case studies. See you in the next video.